Yo guys, Jake Bacon here. And before I get into the video, I just want to get a couple things straight. One, I'm not related to Kevin Bacon. Two, I'm not Jake from State Farm. And three, you're never going to catch me wearing khakis. All right, with that out of the way, let's get into the video and welcome to the channel. There's been a lot of hype around NVIDIA's RTX voice lately and for good reason. I mean, from the demos I've seen, especially with Barnacles and Orgasm, I'm sure you guys have seen it by now. If not, I'll link it down below and you guys can check that out. But um, I mean, it's been amazing to say the least. And I really wanted to test it for myself because while the demos I've seen have been absolutely great, there's one use case that I haven't even seen yet. And I mean, it's probably because most of the people I've seen do these tests have, you know, a private office. But as you can see, I don't have the luxury of that right now. And one of the main problems with that is I have children and <laughs> they're very loud and they like to barge in when they're not supposed to. I mean, I just want to test it and see if that's a, something that this RTX voice can actually get rid of, especially with everyone working from home now. It's probably a big use case, I think, for a lot of people. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it and I'm going to show you guys how to set it up. I actually have a 1080 Ti and then I'm going to do some tests and see how it works and see if it can cancel out other people's voices in the background, especially children, because that's one of the biggest things that I have an issue with right now. I mean, if it could do that, that's just gonna be amazing. So let's go ahead and dive in and uh, get this set up and see what it can do. Come on. Okay guys, so I'm actually gonna take you through the whole process because I haven't even installed this yet. And um, again, I'm on a GTX 1080 Ti. This is made for RTX. Uh, supposedly it's supposed to work with this hack that I'm going to show you. So let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna start from here, uh, what you have to do is you have to scroll all the way down. Um, this is where you have to go, but that'll actually be linked in the description below. So just go ahead and go down to setup guide and then download the app. Okay, so it's done downloading. So just click on it, open it up. See, so at this point, if you have an RTX card, then you can just download it like normal. Just install like a normal program that you would do for anything else and you're good to go. But this is where, um, because I have a GTX 1080 Ti, that I'm gonna have to do the hack and we're gonna see if it works. And make sure that you let it fail like this when you go to install it, because you need to let it do that first and then that's where the hack comes in. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna show you what to do from here. And the first step is you can actually use the shortcut shift control escape and it opens task manager. Okay, and so from here, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna go to file, run new task, um, make sure you create this task with administrative privileges. You have to do that, otherwise this will not work. Then you're gonna go um, and do it again. Type in notepad, open your notepad, and from here, you're gonna go to file, you're gonna go to open. The file that you're looking for is on this PC. Then you're gonna go to your local disk C, then you're gonna go to temp, and then right here, it made this file NVRTX voice. Okay, so click on that. Then you're gonna go to NVAFX. And you're not gonna see it because right now it's set to only show text documents. What you wanna do is hit all files. Then right here, you're gonna wanna click on this RTX voice NVI file. Okay, so right here, you're gonna have to go down to constraints. It's right here. Um, I have a pretty big monitor, that's why it's showing up already. Uh, you might have to scroll down. I'm not sure what it's gonna look like for you, but just go to constraints and then you're gonna go only down like one line to where it says backslash constraints. I'm not a programmer. I'm just basically copying barnacles and orgasms steps. That's how I figured this out. Okay, so we're gonna highlight this from constraints to constraints. We're gonna delete it. All right, now it's gone. So what you're gonna do from there is you're gonna go to file, you're gonna go to save, and it looks like it's working. If it gives you an error, that's because you did not open it as administrative privileges. So if you did not do that, then you need to go back and you need to just rewatch these steps and follow them exactly. Then you should be good to go. Okay, so what I basically did, I just exited out of the Notepad app. If you just go back and you just try to rerun it again and install it, it's just gonna get rid of all the changes we just made. So what you actually have to do is you need to go back to this PC disk and then go to temp, go back to the NVX, NVRTX voice folder, and that's where you're gonna run the application setup. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if this works. Uh, you're right there with me. If you follow the steps correctly, hopefully this will work. Okay, let's run this again. And look at that. 
just check my system compatibility. Um, I have a 1080 Ti again, not an RTX card. And this time I did not get an error and we're good to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna agree and continue. This is just basically installing any other application that you've had. So once you open it up, you're gonna get to this point. Um, it actually just, you need to click your input device and your output device. This is basically just where is your audio coming from. And for me, it's coming from my Behringer. Um, that's actually my audio interface. Uh, I mean, it's a pretty cheap interface, but it actually works really well. Output device, I'm just gonna say the same thing. It's where my output comes out. It's where my headphones are plugged into and my speakers are plugged into as well. All right, then at this point, what you're gonna need to do is click this checkbox right here. This is actually gonna set it up to remove the background noise from your microphone. And you actually have a slider right here with the amount of noise suppression that you want to get rid of. I mean, you can go to zero, it's off. 50%, whatever, 100%. I'm gonna start with 100% and see how this works. Right now I'm actually recording my audio in Cubase and I'm not sure how that's gonna work by going through the NVIDIA RTX voice now. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna start recording my audio from OBS. At this point, what you would do if you're using OBS is you need to go to your mic properties. See right here, you see microphone, NVIDIA RTX voice. This is what we're gonna have to be using. It's, it's still gonna be going through my interface and my mic, but it's another layer that it goes through the RTX voice now. And that's how we get the filtering capabilities, hopefully. That's basically it, that's how you set it up. Um, from here, what I'm just gonna do a series of tests, like I said before, one of the main things that I haven't seen anybody doing um, and everyone's working from home now, a lot of people that are working from home have, have children and they like to just barge in on you, barge in on your office without asking, bang on your door when it's locked even. And I mean, there's not much you can do about it. You can punish them, but I mean, they're still gonna do it anyway, it's their kids. One of the other things is there's other people in this house, like a fiance, wife, girlfriend, whatever you have, boyfriend, I mean, they're gonna be making noise as well, so we're gonna do some tests with that. Uh, so let's get into the test and you know see how this works. Okay, so I made myself a little bit bigger so you can see me. Um, I just wanted to be able to actually have this RTX voice application open still. So you can see that when I click the remove background noise that you know I'm clicking it on and off and I'm not doing any of this in post. The first test that we're actually gonna do is just seeing you know background noise from someone else in the household. The first test that we're gonna do is I have my fiance go ahead and she's gonna go in the bathroom that's pretty close to here and she's gonna turn on the blow dryer. So I, I feel like this is a very common scenario. So we're just gonna see if they can filter that out. I'm pretty sure it's already going to from what I've seen you know, in other videos, but let's go ahead and test it out. Okay, change of plans. She actually needs to vacuum. So this is actually a real scenario that we're gonna do right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open the door and she's gonna vacuum and then you're gonna see me click to remove the background noise and turn on RTX voice. Um, at that point, we'll see if it filters it out. So let's go ahead and try this. Okay, go ahead and vacuum. All right, so and this is what it sounds like normally if someone's vacuuming right next to your office and you're trying to record. Not something you're probably gonna be doing, but let's see what happens. All right, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and click RTX voice on. So here we go. Okay, so now it's on. Um, hopefully it's you know filtering it. I can't actually hear it. I don't, I'm not monitoring the sound. Um, so this is really what would happen in a real scenario if you have this on. Okay, so that's the first test, someone vacuuming right next to your office. Okay, so now this next test, what we're gonna do is, this is a scenario that happens to me every single day. My kids are gonna come upstairs and they're gonna be banging on this door. First, we're just gonna see if we can actually hear them banging on the door. Um, and then we're gonna turn RTX voice on and see if we can filter them out. They're gonna be yelling too. So we're gonna be able to see if it actually can filter out other voices too, besides your own. And hopefully it'll work. So let's try that. So I'm gonna have my daughter bang on the door right now. First, we're gonna do the bang test. Then we're gonna have her yelling too. You can see that we don't have RTX voice on. All right, let's go. All right, Violet, bang on the door. Louder. Okay, so hopefully you guys can hear that. Um, all right, now I'm enabling RTX voice. Okay, keep banging. Bang again. She's still banging on the door, so hopefully it's uh, filtering it out. 
Okay, so now we're going to have her actually yelling and banging to see if they can get rid of her voice. All right, Violet, start screaming. <laughs> so she's screaming. Um, I'm assuming you guys can hear that. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and put an RTX voice and see if we can get rid of it. All right, keep screaming, Violet. Louder. Okay, so she's still screaming. Um, I'm not sure if it's getting rid of it or not. It's, uh, this would be a crazy if it does. Keep keep yelling. Okay, so she's still screaming. Um, all right, you can get the point. Okay, we're done. All right, stop. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna have my kids actually inside the room screaming and yelling and see if they can filter that out. I don't have them on camera because YouTube now, if you have a kid on camera, you have to say it's for kids and then you can't have comments and it's a whole ordeal. So just trust me, they're right next to me. Um, Violet, say hi. Hi. Yeah, see so you can hear her. Okay, so, and my son's here too. All right, so can you guys go ahead and just start screaming, stay where you're at, just start screaming and we're gonna see what it sounds like. All right, go. Okay, that's so loud. Okay, okay. All right, now I'm gonna turn it on. Okay, go ahead and scream right now. All right, they're right next to me screaming. Literally is hurting my ears. Um, keep going. We're gonna see if this filters it out. Um, it's ridiculous. I don't know if it's gonna work, but okay, we're done. <laughs> All right, so personally, I just think that was amazing, and I'm just super excited to see how this is going to get better with time. It'll be interesting to see how long it's going to work with the 1080 Ti. Um, hopefully, they won't patch it out in future updates, but I mean, it's a very big possibility that they will, so um, maybe I'll eventually get an RTX card. Um, we'll have to see. But for now, I'm happy, and it's working great, and I really appreciate everyone taking the time to watch this video. So if you liked it, go ahead and like it. Go ahead and subscribe uh, for more. And until then, and bacon we trust. <laughs> All right, later guys.